every day, some form of fashion, you communicate, you talk, y'all have different conversations, you engage. What ha- cool. So at that point, doing that, you're dating. You're dating, you're interacting, you're going out, you're getting out of both of you all comfort zone and getting to know each other. At that point, that's 30 days. In 30 days, you've probably seen each other maybe 20 of those days, possibly, or half of that. Cool. Now we go, I'm saying 30 days, I'm giving you 30 days. 15 more days past that is about two and a half, two weeks in a day, right? Of the same pattern. If everything so happens to go consistent the way it's supposed to go, at that point, you now understand and notice, man, you should. If you don't, that means you're dumb. You shouldn't be dating people, human beings in the first place. Date your damn self. So if you do know this, man, that means date. If I meet somebody and I date them for 30 days, I should automatically introduce them to you. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, but you should know this, man. Even if I don't know for sure what the outcome is going to be. I'm just you don't. Women don't ask team. qualifying questions. Oh. This is what y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm just saying. What you're saying is, one at a time. You're expecting <clears throat> men to be direct and straightforward, just that Money type boy. of guy that you are. So you're speaking from your perspective. You're not speaking from the masses because mm. when you're out here dating. Most men don't shoot straight from the hip because realistically, sure okay, let's just let's just put it out there. Definitely don't. Definitely. Most men will sit and tell you, I'm single. And you know good and doggone well, because mm-hmm. we on radio, you're not single. Okay. So one, that's your first lie. And okay. it is not my job. But, but but wait a minute, right now that is Do you not tell dudes you date you married? Absolutely. I do I not? Absolutely okay. I do. But because I am just like you, I shoot straight from the hip and I believe that I don't want a lie to come back and bite me in my behind. Mm-hmm. So let me be honest with you and let you know what the situation is right now. Okay. You are you are speaking from a position of men being directly like I'm speaking you on base. No, hold on, hold on. You can't speak. Hey, hey. I'm, a, I'm an alpha male, but I'm speaking. I'm an alpha so here's what I'm saying is, baby. I'm speaking on men. Stop dating boys. But no, but the thing is, you got so many men. Who pretend to be boys. Who pretend to be men. To be men. Mm. So at the end of the day, what I'm saying to you is there's no way. With most men don't even reveal their true self. You don't even start seeing little inklings of who he really is until after the first 90 days. Mm. 90 days. Mm. So if I'm going to introduce a male to my child after 45 days, and granted, I only have one minor right. left out of four children. Uh-huh. I have a 10-year-old. Mm. There's no way every 45 days I'm going to bring somebody else in to meet my child. So that's not going to happen. Mm. So what I'm saying to you is I believe that the process needs to be a little bit longer. We need to go through an interview process. Yes, I do have questions that I ask. And the first line... Can I ask you one question? Yes. Don't lose your train of thought. Out of the 45 days you dated, how Mm -hmm. soon do you have sex with him? Oh, no. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's be real. Ain't no sex jumping off within 45 days. When I mean sex... I don't really apply to her. Yeah. Oh yeah. But I'm dated. But no, no, stop, but stop, stop. Let me ask. Let me ask. No, no, no. Right now, I'm gonna be honest with you. Right now, I'm hold on. No, no, no. Stephanie, Steph, are you married? I'm sorry, bro. Are you married? No, 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 no. So, Steph, you're not married. You have kids. God damn it. But that's the In 45 days, 45 days, whatever time frame, same scenario. At that point, have you had sex with this man yet? Mike. Cool. Realistically, so here's my thing is you value your vagina more than you value your child. How about switch it? How about see your child first for you lay down and catch feelings for this man and be confused because sex confuses things. So why not meet the child first? And I, when I say meet the child, he don't have to come to the house. Y'all can say, hey, we had such and such. Why don't y'all meet us here? Cool. And then y'all meet him and you see that and, and all you do is do this like a coach. You sit back and watch. Mm-hmm. You give instructions. You see. You watch. You observe. Y'all are great observers. Mm-hmm. And then at that yes. point, if you can see the natural fatherly, manly instinct in that man, mm-hmm. as opposed to being confused and saying, "Oh, he's a great lover, so I know he can help me raise my ch- my child," that's what most women do. They figure that he he didn't he didn't blow your back out. No. And now he can raise your kids. <laughs> That's ass backwards. In reality is, he's lazy. He doesn't want to work. 
He likes he likes to catch warm white stuff in his mouth. He compliments on your But you get what I'm saying? And he likes your jewelry though. But I want to close it out and say I want to close. Now we know we about to wrap it up because it's time. Because Ed got to come on thirty minutes. Look, we've had an extended episode. It's been it's been a great situation. Let's just do this. Let's promise to get everybody to listen to the show to come back. Let's all come back and gather up and do this again. And let's we can bring some more guys and look. What I, my and let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all what y'all may not know the, the the hidden agenda behind this. My my actual agenda is to better households. Not marriages. I'm here to better the heads of households, whether it be the woman by herself, the single mom, or the parents together. Now, people are going to ask and say, well, how can you do that? It's because I've learned through trial and error. I don't have to be married. I don't have to have, I don't, I don't have, to have that. I just know better. In order to know better, you do better. So at the end of the day, why can't I have an initiative to say, hey, because I grew up in a single parent household, so I understand the trials and tribulations of that. Right, my mom didn't allow men in, around around me around the house because my mom didn't have men running in and out of the house. My mom dated because my mom was old school. So when she dated, she dated this particular man. It was for a long period of time. So I know Mr. Such and Such because that's all it was. I didn't know Mr. Such and Such, and then the same dude you inboxing on on Instagram that comes over now and then. He only comes outside and he comes out of high. And I come out to check on my mom and see what you're doing. And it's the dude from Instagram. So you got that. You got the new wave of stuff going on. So my my whole concept is to better households, and it's to better if we can better and improve the heads of households with better financial responsibility, with job placement, etc. Then it trickles down to the kids. Then it opens your mind to have a better perspective on how you should do. Because at the end of the day, I'm not like I'm not like these other people who say it's wrong if you have sex and. 30 days yeah, tune Make that man, man wait No I said man Go with the flow Because reality is When you do You'll see things For what it is Women don't see things For what it is Until it's detrimental You understand what I'm saying I'm, uh, Baby stop Get out the mindset Li- We live in a real world Where the majority rules <laughs> You understand what Because I'm telling you Because you're thinking From your perspective But the majority and of the world I'm speaking on the majority. Yeah, but you're speaking from your perspective. This right here is definitely not the majority, Sean. And I'm not here to debate what you're saying. All I'm the saying world, is because because speaking. I touched the, because I touched all over the world. Okay, and I understand that. But babe, realistically, you're not a woman out here dating. So I'm not a woman. I, 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 Thank exactly God. What I'm saying is, I couldn't believe for six days and still live. Uh, what I'm saying is, <laughs> you could not possibly get our perspective. From your perspective, no, because you're wouldn't. not a woman, so yeah. you're not on the receiving end of these crock of BS not stories mm-hmm. that you are being fed from people who can claim to be men. And I, and I, you think I, women don't lie? I'm not saying that we don't. Women are the best liars. Oh no, I'm not saying that we don't. But, but what I'm saying, we've learned from the best. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, because most no, women. Mean. For oh, every action you that, grow man. up learning, for every action there is a Men reaction. A lot, and God. so at the end of the day, we have been taught and trained and groomed by the best because we right. have been taught. And it don't make you better. It makes you wiser, baby. Exactly. That's what it does. The reason so men were taught by women. Final thought. All oh, men are taught by women. Turn this book on. I was hungry and I've been starved. 2017 relationship. Hold on. Light skin. Light skin. Hey, light skin. It was 11.30. Light skin. You going to say bye properly? Ladies. Bye-bye. I'm hungry. You hear me on Facebook? Two minutes, baby. Two minutes. I want y'all to take on what he says. Right? Listen, listen to me for a second, ladies. The average woman don't have nearly as many sexual partners as the average man that is out there and is not married. <laughs> right now, in those sexual relationships, we have a lot of conversations, mm-hmm. and a lot of people we don't have sex with that we talk to. So you may think you've been through a lot, you've dealt so many stuff with this five guys, ten guys, fifteen guys. I've heard all the stories from those ten guys. 
But you know what? I heard the stories about these 10 guys. I heard the stories about these 10, 15, 20 guys. I heard the story because I've been with sexually, I've been with 89 different women. And you know what? I don't have one night stands. <laughs> 89 different women. And I have not had one night stands. So when when I speak on a perspective of where I know where a woman's coming from, it's because I've listened. I've learned the art to listen and pay attention to understand your pain, your hurt, and what's going on. Why was I able to help women get married and have good, long lasting relationships? Because I was able to guide them Thursday directly night. to get Saturday themselves night. out of their own goddamn the way. Teach a night. woman to how to identify Peace. a true man, and that woman will always be happy. But when you got so much confusion because of all this baggage and all this past history, it's hard to identify what is real because you got so much you're holding on to. Okay, but there's men that also come with baggage. Oh, it's plenty men. History. There's plenty men. There's plenty of men. Like so I said, we're four women. we are four generations behind. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying four generations not just women in single households, boys in single households. Mm -hmm. I agree. You know? And there's a boy need to be a true man and be more responsible for the things that he does. Appreciate y'all. But if he has no point of reference on you. how to be a man, Please. he can never Tune be a Monday, man to a woman. Thursday, okay. Saturday. Because Monday see, past, like Sean was saying, past 25, 30, once a man past 30 and he's not married yet, he knows.